OG Fortnite is here right now, and you gotta be asking, what is the best landing spot to give you the best chance at winning? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Let's jump into it. Man, this month is gonna go by so quick. I'm gonna miss Spawn Island again. Let's jump into it. Whee! All right, so in my opinion, the best spot to land, the most underrated, the goaded location is gonna be right here on the map. It's not even gonna be marked. It's gonna be this spot right here. Now, a lot of people might go into Flush Factory. That's okay. You're just gonna wanna head over here and stick to your course, okay? Now, if you're playing with friends, one of you could land up on this hill, but to be honest, there's not much loot there. Here we go. This is one of the main spots that I used to land in OG Fortnite, and it's back again and really, really good for a ton of different reasons. Okay, let me grab the C4 though, and you can see that uh, I think a couple people maybe land here. I'm just gonna go ahead and focus up. Oh, there's one guy right there. Look at him, back away. Back away from the loot. I got C4 and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh my gosh, he's just on the ground there. That's one hit, two hits. Who said C4 is bad? Okay, so when you land up here, look, there's gonna be two chests, which is fantastic. I just got a big pot, I got an SMG, I got a pump and boogie bombs. Now, you're gonna wanna be really aware of what's in the game and what you wanna use. Let me pop this open. And uh, there's just gonna be another pump, okay. Now, shield is kind of hard to come by, but uh, luckily there is a ton of chests here, and I'm assuming we'll find some more shields. Yep, just like that. Opening as many chests as possible, especially at the beginning of the game, is really gonna up your chances of winning, so make sure you do that. And that's not the only reason this spot is incredible, and I'll show you why in just a little bit here. Okay, my loadout is pretty great. If we wanted to, we could farm all the metal we want just by hitting these floors here. It's really quick, and it's just honestly fantastic. Like, if you're just trying to get your materials up quick, this is the spot as well. That's why I love it. And then you can farm these for brick, and it gives you a good amount of brick. 18 for that. Over here, look at that. Breaking one floor, 23. And there's still more chests over here. I think there's one above me. Lots of ammo crates if you're uh, concerned about your ammo reserves. Ooh, look a big. I'm going to take that. Oh, actually, there's more minis here. Look at that. Everyone's complaining about heals, and uh, look how many heals I got. And then if we head down here, yep, one more chest. So that's a lot of chests right there, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and take this from us. Now, here's the thing. We ain't done. We're going to go out the back. Back door over here and inside here i think is usually a chest but there's not one there we got a shopping cart here oh gosh we got right there moscow crazy this guy's just oblivious mm, quick a lip now going out here there is going to be more loot you can farm stuff too this truck in particular is fantastic for metal and the truck itself you can farm too since you can't drive them and then you can break this wood pallet look at this you get 78 wood. Opening this up. Ooh, a rift to go. Fantastic. I'm gonna grab that AR. I'm gonna mark this for later, okay? That's great to always know where the rift to goes are. You don't necessarily have to pick them up and use an inventory slot. You can just go ahead and mark them, know where they are later, and I can show you a trick with them too. That way they don't even have to take up an inventory slot at all. All these buildings are fantastic and they have a bunch of things that you can farm too. I mean, look at my materials. I am stacked on materials and I really just landed here not too long ago. There's a bunch of chests here too, which they did take. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bush. It actually stops a bullet from anything, even a sniper. It's a little annoying because you can't see that well with it on. I don't really mind it, like a chest there. We have, oh my gosh, a gold vending machine where we can get bushes or chug jug. And then another building here, which you can go ahead and loot. I think it still works where you can break these in the chest falls, yes. Okay, perfect. So yeah, a lot of people complain about loot, where to find it. This is definitely the best spot. Once you get all your loot, then you can go find people. Look, I'm still not done. I could loot these two other buildings and I will because somebody is in here him so hard going in cone him Woo. he tried to boogie bomb me if he got that boogie bomb off it would have been uh really tough for me to win that fight so let me drop down here just grab all this loot and over here you will find a bunch more things you can loot including this downstairs area which has a chest so you can actually take your pick land at any one of the buildings oh my gosh a chug jug i'm gonna take the minis chug jugs take so long to pop that uh i may never get it off if i need it dump it up here look another chest just get familiar with this area and you will not regret it now look there is one more building here you can loot and there's this last building over here all the chests should be fairly obvious for you to find and of course if you have visual audio they will pop up on there too oh my gosh a grenade launcher i'm gonna take that instead of the rpg and we got a chug jug okay so where do you go from here as you can see the zone did not pull in my favor you're actually on the edge of the map so it's gonna be pretty rare that you get the zone so what you're gonna want to do is actually head over here towards the edge of the island it may seem counterintuitive but it'll make sense in just a second storm only ticks one so don't worry too much and on the edge of the island you'll see that there are these rifts one two three these are permanent rifts so that if you're caught on the side of the island you can get out we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that we're not gonna really be stuck we're gonna use that to uh just get where we want to go alternatively we could use the rift to go which i still have marked so 
I'm gonna do that just because I want to show you the secret okay now there's a couple different ways to do this the least risky way for me is to build up like twice bring your rift to go here with like one item then what you want to do is hit the rift to go drop down as fast as possible grab your item and then hit it again like that you'll have full inventory and you'll be able to use the rift now if you use the uh the cliff rift i wouldn't have taken so much damage but i want to show you guys that little cool thing there okay let's land at this little area here see if i can get like a med kit or something maybe even bandages you know i'm down bad when i gotta use bandages actually apple right here how much is healing for five mm, i guess i could eat apples i honestly didn't even remember apples that much but they were in the game so there's that and i get xp for eating them you know what easy shopping cart over here let's go ahead and use it and gain some speed come on come on just coast down the hill Whee! Oh my gosh. See some boogie bombs here. Boogie bombs are absolutely broken. Make sure you're using them. If you're playing OG Fortnite, they just make sense. If you don't use them, you're actually putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. Oh my gosh, look at that build fight. I'm going in. They're going ham on each other. I'm going to go ahead and actually build up to this guy's build. Just kind of go sneaky about it. See a med kit under here too. I'm just going to mark it for later. Oh my gosh, shredded. Oh, that guy got eliminated. Meet this apple. Check out this guy's loot. Oh my gosh, he had a purple pump. And a gold RPG, I'm taking it. Heal up. Oof. Absolutely bodied. Give me that shield. Purple pump hits so hard in OG Fortnite. It's absolutely insane. We need more apples. And I'm probably going to go get that med kit too. Oh, there's one down here. Convenient. I used to go to this area all the time. I love landing at Salty Springs. And I love landing at Factories too, which I thought was going to be in this update. But I learned shockingly that uh, it is not. Because uh, it was right here. Right before the meteor hit, okay? Comet, meteor, whatever you want to call it. There is a big difference, I believe. Now, just some general tips for you. There is mushrooms down here in this area. So if you're running alone, and you just need a little bit of extra shield. Might be good to come here and just eat a couple mushrooms like I am. Also, for some reason, zone keeps on ticking one, even though it gets smaller and smaller. So just be aware of that. If you're stuck in the storm, it's not going to hit that hard, but it does add up over time. Now, these are a lot of tips for build mode. I can give you a lot of tips on zero build as well. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. But one of the biggest tips I can give overall is that the ATKs, those like golf carts now go way faster. Like I'm talking double, maybe even triple the speed that they used to go. Oh. Oh my gosh, pumped them so hard. M23, I'm gonna RPG him down, I think. I've decided. Break this. Oh, he launch pad. Come on, AR hit. That is so sad. There's a guy right down here or something. Oh, there he is. Boogie bombed him. Let's go ahead and do this, put a trap in. <laughs> You gotta do them to them like that sometimes. Remember, traps do a ton of damage. Use them wisely, sparingly, but effectively. The biggest thing you guys are gonna find is that you run out of heals pretty quick. There's not an abundance. Like, you know, when you eliminate somebody in chapter four, season four, you get like a slurp juice and splashes and you can get augments to get heals. And there's plants everywhere that give you a ton of health too. Yeah, that is not the case here. Oh my gosh. Look, that guy, that was the guy that was fighting before. He could not find heals at all. Like, he was running away that whole time and never found heals. Like, that's insane. Okay, let me grab this. Oh, another big tip here. Let me grab this AR. Is that the grappler is actually buffed. So let's go ahead and just jump up here. And you'll see if we jump over here, we'll actually take no fall damage with it. You are fall damage immune after using the grappler now, which you can use to your advantage to get the jump on some people or people can use it to their advantage to get the jump on you. Okay, so let me do a demonstration real quick. You can see I'm building up. Normally I would die of fall damage here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump, hit this and no fall damage that would have been embarrassing if it eliminated me okay let's go ahead and box up this loot that is right supply drops are back and they are crazy good i got a bush here which i'm gonna pop unfortunately i got a purple burst ar but you know everything else is pretty good i was kind of looking for more heals but it is what it is two other people left something gold over here let's check out what it is oh it's a gold deagle oh and some more boogie bombs boogie bombs are actually like straight up just broken if you're not using them again like i said earlier you're doing a disservice to yourself you do gotta know how to use them i know that sounds silly because they're just boogie bombs but a lot of people boogie bomb themselves and uh it's wraps after that does this give you shield 
Oh, it does. What? I thought they changed it so it's just ammo for this, but yeah, open those up. They give you shields sometimes. Man, it's so awesome seeing the OG stuff back. Like, this is incredible. Oh, somebody just rifted. Now, one thing I will say about ATKs is it's really easy to get hit while you're in them. I'm going to show you how fast they are. Look at this. Whee! We are zooming. Literally going 50 miles per hour. So definitely use them if you want to to get around. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. This guy doesn't. I'm going to pretend to be a bush. Oh my gosh, this is going to work. He didn't realize I was a bush. I buggy ball myself. I just talked about this. This is so bad. I cannot get this buggy bomb off. That hurt. I'm gonna launch pad. Just get out of here for a bit. I'm running out of mats. You do have only 1500 mats total, so you gotta be alert. I think a boogie bomb. Oh my gosh. That guy's one shot. If the other guy's around here too, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this and get away. Get some more boogies, some more mats too. And heck, even a rift to go, why not? Just use this to get away a little bit. See if I can find more heals. Oh, let's pop a big bot. I think whoever gets that supply drop is gonna win. Gosh, doing damage. 16. Oh, let's go! He thought I was gonna go for the supply drop, which I thought about, but uh, GG. That is, in my opinion, the best landing spot this season. Go check it out and get yourself a dub. GG.